Well, let's get back into it. Definitely can be improved getting to the game, but whatever. I get in fast enough. So we continue again. We're gonna get to see what this claw is all about. So I guess the, the gloves here are like, you know, basic punction. And basic, you know. Well, let's see what these gloves are all about, I guess. Ooh, quick. Looks like they're hitting twice. So I guess the thing about the gloves is that they hit fast. Seems to be what they're about. Thought these might be weak, but they're actually pretty strong. Oh, that's stupid. But whatever. What type of function is that? I can't really remember. Falcon punches it. It's wrong way from this guy until he lands. Take this stuff. Oops. Put those there. Now here's a question, how bad is that going to be to go in and there, I wonder. This might get me killed, but we'll see. The fire damage are just as strong as, you know, the other ones. Put that there. I'm clicking on fast. Oops.
Whoopsie, I dropped the book into the, the abyss. That's something I'll watch out for, you know, dropping stuff into the abyss. Ow. Oh, this guy not will knock off items from you. So he's dangerous. Okay, cool. You know what? I think we're actually pretty good to go back at this point, so... Worked a few of these things on this gal. Now here's a thing to wonder about. Am I going to have to pay more and more as I go further and further into a dungeon, I wonder? With Dependent? Or will always be fairly cheap? Right, so... Drop those there for now. Put those things over there. So I've had some thoughts about how I'm basically going to be playing the game at this point, more or less. And in regards to weapons, I'm just going to try and like, you know, build like the basic stuff for them. Like I'll try and build a bow, for example. Maybe a couple. See what you can do with it. Drop those there. Basically, this chest here I'm going to use probably for like, you know, um, storing anything I'm not going to be using for my character, I guess. For like selling. Yeah, this is what we'll call this one. This is like the sell thing here. The shell chest. I'll make this one to be the uh, the character chest. So something I note by the way, as soon as whenever I go into like the dungeon, I'll pop up. You know, if I go in a day, I'll come back in during night. If I'm basically going through night, I'm going to go, you know, back in day when I'm exiting the dungeon. So if I go in right now, it's daylight time right now. I'll be it'll be nighttime when I basically exit again.
Get a lot of stuff. I love a spear. Learn to dodge. That's what I need to do. Now, no power there's two enemies right now because, like, you know, it's daytime, I think. Now there's a... Uh, these ruined, blah blah... These ruined tools and golden chisels are hard to find indeed. The old owner of the Moonlighter shop said those artifacts can be only be found in the golden chests. Oh, okay, that's good enough. So you have to find golden chests basically to get the tools. It seems like the tougher enemies, they always drop the, like the enchanted stuff for you, which is nice. Not really much from them, but whatever. So, I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine a rock that moves? I've already seen that one. I really wish the lore could be a little bit more... What you call it? Limited, I guess. That's fine, do. Alright, what do I not need? I could get more j jam type of thing, so... I kind of want all this stuff. That's annoying. Take that, I guess. I guess we got enough metal for now, so let's get rid of that. Not sure if we need much more in a way of teeth, but whatever. We'll take our teeth for now.
Do do do. Oh, nice! They can actually pick up stuff if it falls down into the crevice. Let's see here. I'm going to jettison these bar spears, I think. Those things aren't worth much, apparently. Good to know. I bet, like, you know, if you want to make, like, lots of money in this game, probably the optimal thing to do is basically to, um... Just collect the loot that sells for a lot. Ow. If it sells for a lot, you'll be able to, like, you know, make your, your bang for it, basically. Let's go in here. Someone knows that you have a little bit of invulnerability when you're getting hit, so that's nice. You know, I can see the boat being really useful for these spire type of things. Oh! Apparently they're invulnerable until you hit them. Or... whatever. Ah... Drop those there. Make a little bit of money from those. Basically, I'm, I keep my spot open so that I can always, like, you know, jest and stuff. Down he goes. Oh! I guess I got like a sort of like explosion type of thing. Alright, there's some more schematics and stuff. Uh. Merely sent I am in the direction shown to the to the shop. I have no idea what that means. Okay, I want to see what these basically are worth, so we're gonna pick take those on for sure.
Oh! I can immediately send stuff to the shop. Not sure why I'm making things in the gold mine there, so we're going to avoid that for now. I used to think about this. I said something like a breakable line like that back where he needs to go. That's a golden chest, by the way. Those things just seem to be kamikaze, and that's all they do. As long as they are. You know what? We only received one fabric. Let's not worry about that. You know what, let's just see what this does. Let's see if I get like 10 things to pop up if I do that. Learn! And... Oh yeah, look at that. It turns into um, five manuscripts like that. Not bad. And now it's night time. I'm still trying to figure out what the good price for that is, so... Keep those up there. I actually know what the good price for that is already, but whatever. Same with that. No, we don't need this many of this stuff, so let's put this here. Go on more designs. Here's a question, did I put these in the wrong chest, I wonder? It might be that the other chest is the one that, like, you, um... want to have your, like, you know, character supplies in. And not this one. Old Golem minion design, apparently. You know, I'm tempted to say that all this stuff is going to be for selling, I think, in here.
So let's uh, maybe like, you know, sleep and we'll basically open a shop for tomorrow. See what I can sell. Okay, I figured the price out for those already. That's good. Figured the price out on those. And those. What? Feel like 60 is too much for this. Oh yeah, these are um, things that are really, really, um, what you call it? They're a lot cheaper than like what they're, what I'm probably having them up here for, so. We'll do that to them. And they are now too cheap. Oh well. At least I sold them. Alright, that's to be charged for a little bit more than that, so. Try that much. So we got some good prices for these. Hey, good, good price run finally. Now these things I've been pricing too cheaply. Here's one of the things I can do, right? I can go into them and... Like, do that to the price for them. Basically put them one at a time to basically get the right price for them. Up, oh, still too cheap on the fabric. Alright, so I got a good reaction from... Well, I guess we're going to sell that one really cheap. Now this stuff here... I have no idea what the price for them, so... Let's just try going 500 for him. And 400. He picks it up and he says, 
Too cheap. Let's try that price for him. And of course the warrior leaves because he won't got a weapon for her, but oh well. And they're just going to grab their few things here. Oops. Still cheap, too cheap on these. But I made some good money. 17 customers. Good money on it. Let's do that with that stuff for now. Alright, let's go see what I can craft. Or what I'm gonna go gonna craft, I guess. Mm -hmm. Still need some foundry stuff for, you know, this stuff here, unfortunately, but whatever. Hey, I can craft this finally. Let's do it. The rusty short sword. Well, we crafted that, and then we can get something else when we get, we get around to it. So I'm guessing like there's like elemental weapons that like do different, different types of weapons depending on like what type of dungeon you're in. I assume this is probably good for the golden dungeon, but this would be like, you know, better for like the forest dungeon, the fire dungeon, and whatever dungeon. And I can't craft that, unfortunately. Could craft better gloves though if I want to. Let's see what happens if I upgrade my gloves as they keep their thing or if it's like whatever. There's very good fire gloves now, so I lost the enchantment that was on them, so that's good to know. But whatever, they're still good. There's my rusty short, short sword. We'll put this on here for now. Test it out. Put those there for now. I still have lots to sell, right? But whatever. I think what we'll do is we'll go for another run for a dungeon. I'll also see how my uh, weapons do for me. And I go. Oh yeah, this thing hits massively hard. 
And it even stuns him too. Would do that in the secondary tier dungeon? I don't know. But it's doing it here. Already been here, I assume. I love how old Peep becomes a fixture of the dungeon. All the nice little lore for this game. Oh, that's nice being able to stun him. I bet it's like you get like further on, you want to upgrade your stuff. Those in there. And there we are at a golden dungeon two. But before we go, let's just fully map out the first level here. You know, I can see how falling down is actually beneficial if like, you want to avoid like getting lots of damage on yourself, but... Whatever. Overall, this is a fairly well done game. There's not a whole lot to complain about it. There's little nitpicks I could say about the design in some ways, but... That's annoying. So when it falls down the crevice, it really annoys you. Alright, we're not going to keep these teeth anymore. Get rid of those. Did I destroy an item already? That sucks. There, we'll do that for all that stuff now. And that's annoying, I just threw it all right back in there. I figured I'd destroy an item, but whatever.
up these pesty things. This weapon is nice. Oh, it destroys the item curse. That's what these things are. That's good enough. So, destroy that item curse so I can merge these two. Put that there for now. It's good when you get those destroy item curses because it makes it so much easier to like you know map out your stuff. Ah, why not? We'll go to the next level. Missed me. Hey, golden chest. Didn't see that up there. Take that. Alright, I can send stuff immediately back to town. Put that there for now. Merge those things, I guess. I'm probably about to go right back to town in a moment, but... Whatever. We're just going to sell those now for now. Now yeah, why not? I'm probably not doing this the most optimal way for like, you know... ...what I'm doing, but whatever. Those there. Ooh, I can make a bunch of these things. Um, hmm. Put that there. See how that works for me if I do that. Those can stack. Let's get rid of those. How should these cost, I wonder? Ooh, those are worth a lot. For sure.
That's worth even more. That's worth the least. Okay, well I got some ideas for like how much this all costs. Get you. Let's see here. Kill those. Oh, let's get rid of this. I have to watch out for my health here, but I'm not dead yet. You gotta kill this guy. Ow. Okay, it's time to go back. With one HP. Yep, I was so that close to dying. Pick that up. Cool, I can send stuff home. Send that home. Send those goodies home. And then one thing has to get destroyed, I guess. Alright, well, let's see what I get for all this stuff. Killed a lot this time. Oh, we got more golem designs. Okay. Well, next time I'll basically be popping in and do a little bit more selling. And then we'll see what I can do with all the stuff I basically have for selling it. Like, you know, different price points. Hmm. All right, well, let's see. I will see you guys next time. And we'll go with it from there. Take care.